welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but pretty way. I'm wearing my DIY that I shared with you last week. It's a little advanced DIY, so it could be a challenge for you as a beginner. That's why this week I'm come back with a beginner friendly DIY. It's a baby doll dread with purposely uh, v neck collar inside pockets. It's very cute and super comfy. It's also very easy to make, so I hope you will like it and check it out. And let's get started! I used two and a half meter of cotton gingham fabric for this DIY. The first step is making the top of the dress. To make the back parted, I cut a rectangle with 28 cm width, which is the width between two inside shoulders plus 2 cm for seam allowance and 36 cm length, which is the length from the shoulder to over my breast, blood 4 cm. On the top line, I mark in the middle foot. Then from this mark, I mark at two sides 7 cm. So the width between two marks will be 14 cm, which is the width of the neck that I want minus 2 cm for seam allowance. From the first mark, I also marked out 3 cm, then connecting this mark to 2 marks of the neck. After that, I draw a curve line based on it to finish the neckline for the back bodice. From 2 ends of the top line, I marked down at 2 cm on the length line, then connect it to the mask on the neck to finish the shoulder line for the back bodice. And here's the back bodice after cutting. You will need two pieces for this dress. To make the front bodice, I cut a rectangle with 34cm length, which is 2cm shorter than the back bodice, and 15cm width, which is a half width of the back bodice, plus 1cm for seam allowance. From one end of the top line, I marked at 7cm inside. From the other end of the top line, I marked down at 6cm on the length line. It's the length of the neck at the front from the shoulder, then connecting two marks together. After that, I draw a curved line based on it to finish the neck line for the front bodice. Then I connect the mask on the top line to the other length line at 2cm under it to finish the shoulder line. And here's the front bodice after cutting. You will need four pieces for this dress. Connecting two pieces of the front bodice together at the middle by the pink foot. Then from the top, I mark down at 18 cm. It's the depth of the v-neck that I want. Make sure it won't be too deep that could see your breath. Then sew the rest together. After sewing, I connect the front and the back bodice together at the shoulders. Using other pieces of the front and the back bodice to make the same piece like this. Then connect two pieces together at the neckline and sewing. After that, I make a small cut at the curved line on the neck to have the neck look nicer when I turn it out. Use the iron to make the fold at the front to create the V-neck. And here's the top bodice after on. I connect two pieces together at two sides in the end of it by overlocking. Moving to the sleeve, I cut a rectangle with 50cm length, which is the length from the shoulder to over my elbow, and 84cm width, which is the length of the front and the back bodice, plus 20cm. I fold the rectangle in half on the width line foot, then from one end of the length line. I mark to inside 14cm. It's the half of the width of the top bodice. 
from one end of the folding line. I mark down at 32 cm, which is the same with the length of the front bodice. Then connecting two marks together. After that, I draw a slightly curved line based on it to finish the sleeve. After cutting, I sew two underarmic lines together first. Then making a loose seam at the end of the sleeve to create the gathering fabric there later. Make sure the final width of the gathering fabric should be bigger than your arm, so you can feel more comfortable when wearing the dress. I cut a rectangle with 8cm width and 30cm length, which is the same with the end of the sleeve plus 2cm for seam allowance. I connect two width lines together to create a circle fabric foot. Then I connect it to the end of the sleeve and sewing. After the first seam, I fold the other end of the circle fabric inside 1cm, then keep folding it over the first seam to hide on the end fabric inside and make the second seam. At the top of the sleeve, I make a loose seam first, then I create a gathering fabric there later. Make sure the gathering should be around the top and the final length of the sleeve in the end should be the same with the length of the top bodice from the back to the front, so you can connect. And here's the top of the dress. Check the final width of the top foot. Then moving to the bottom of the dress. I cut a rectangle with 100cm width, which is 2 times the width of the top dress. And 55cm length, which is the length from under my breast to above my knee. From two ends of the width line, I mark down at 8cm on the length line. There will be the position for the side pockets later. To make the pocket, I cut a rectangle with 20cm length and 30cm width. On one width line, I mark at the middle foot, then drawing a curved line from this mark to one end of the other width line and cutting. You will need 4 pieces like this. Now I'm adding the pockets to the position I made before, then sewing to connect them together. Making another piece like this, then connecting two parts and pieces together at two sides. From the top of the pocket, I mark down at 14cm, which is the open area of the pocket where you can put your hand in, then sew the rest together to create a dip for the pocket. At the end of the bottom dress, I fold the end fabric inside two times and sew to finish it.
at the top of the bottom dress and make a loose seam first. Then I create the grand ring fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same with the width at the top of the dress, so you can connect them together later. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. It's such a cute and comfortable dress. I hope you will check it out. See you next week.